Shalom, kohaloyim, la yihau bashim yihau shah bashim rechak badash. I just wanted to make this video real quick. Um, because it was it was just heavy on my spirit, man. In this truth, we really have to learn how dire your faith is in this walk. Considering first the Heavenly Father and the Son, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the world inwardly knows is God in Christ. Okay, their their works is above, you know, every everything that they have created, man. All right. That works are above everything in this life. And so we are to have faith in them at all times. I'm saying this because, you know, I, I, I do a lot of videos stressing the importance of, of talking to the Lord. Because once again, if Jake fall, if, if, you, if there's a brother in this truth that fell out and went back into the world or whatever, or, or what have you, whatever the case is. Is because that brother wasn't talking to the Lord. All right, and, and the same thing for sisters too, but you know, let's let's deal with the men first because that's what the house of the Lord starts with. All right, the house of the Lord starts with men. All right. The house of the Lord starts with men. All right, starting starting with you know the brothers that go out and prophesy, that do the videos, all of those things. All right, it starts with us, Akim. You know, you met ye ye men of Israel. I mean, we got to we got to tighten up more now than ever before. OK, and that starts with having faith and talking to the Lord, asking the Lord to help you fight through situations instead of asking the Lord to remove something away from you. You want to you want to ask the Lord to, to, to help you fight through it. OK, because at the end of the day, we're warriors, man. I was just thinking about that because we're not going through anything that the common man isn't going through. The thing is, we know how to deal with it, man. And that is a blessing. All right, so let me read that first because I don't want to just ramble on. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 13. It says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right, let's look at that word bear in the scripture real quick. I want to see, I want to see what that means. All right, to bear. It says um hypo hypofero. How how have you pronounced that? It says to bear by being under, bear up. A thing placed on one's shoulders and and, and what's placed on our shoulders, Akim, the damn world. You could look at these manosphere videos on YouTube. All you like, and, and all of them is really say, a lot of them is really saying the same things. All right, they're saying it in a carnal sense, okay. But even so, there's there's a certain spiritual essence to it that we can take from it because we have the scriptures and they don't. All right, we literally bear the weight of the whole world on our shoulders. This is why it's important for us to, you know, put forth this truth, you know, uh, in righteousness and sincerity. To the best of our ability, man. Even dealing with the bullshit that this life deals us. Even with dealing with that. We got to be able to put forth this truth the best way we can. Considering the circumstances that we have to deal with. Maybe maybe you a brother with children. Maybe you a brother with no children and you alone a lot. Alright. Maybe, maybe you married. Maybe you, you know, you living with your family members. OK. Maybe your, your car just broke down, maybe your, your job is I mean, all of these jobs suck, but, you know, maybe you just got one of those jobs where just like it's, you know, you to the point where you just want to snap all the time, man. All right. Whatever kind of circumstances brothers is dealing with. All right. These these this this the, the world is placed on our shoulders because what we're going out to the highways and the hedges, giving giving warning to the world, man. OK. And being in this truth that comes with tribulation. All right. And in tribulation, persecution is coming our way. All right. So going back to the scripture, oh, definition two, Salakia. It says to bear patiently, to endure. What does the word patient mean? The word patient means suffer. Okay. So going back to the scripture, it says, Who will not suffer? It says, But Yahweh is faithful. 
who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord is not going to give you something that you that you can't hold on your shoulders or bear. OK, because best believe if you in the truth, then the Lord got your back. But it starts with you believing that. And it starts with, you know, in, in order to believe that you got to believe that Yahweh Shai is. You got to believe that Yahweh he is. You got to believe that that Ye Yahweh is and the, and the son is, man. They exist. And those are their names. Okay? You got to believe that the Lord, what? When you pray to him, when you talk to him, all right, you could cast your burdens upon him and let them deal with whatever you got going on, even if it is something in the camp. Because we're still in, uh, we're still in the flesh, man. You're going to have situations you know, with brothers and things of that nature. But more importantly, all right, before brothers, you're going to have situations within yourself that you need worked out. And when you realize them, you have to call them out and, and confess it to the Lord. You know, maybe you lusting, maybe you lusting or whatever the case, man. Maybe you lusting after a certain woman or certain women. Maybe you lusting after, you know, things that, 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 you know, the world is, is enticing you to lust after. Okay, maybe you're dealing with a, 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 a weak demon, you know, maybe you're dealing with an emotional demon. All right, within yourself, you got to talk to the Lord about it and you got to believe that the Lord is going to make you strong through it. The Lord is going to make you strong if you go through it, man. All right, I want to read verse 13 in the NLT and then I'll close out. It says the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. Okay, once again, we're going through things the common man goes through the thing is we know how to we should know how to to maneuver through it by reason of the scriptures this is why reading is important it says and god is faithful he will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand when you are tempted he will show you a way out so that you can endure okay so there's always always going to be a way out man even when shit gets crazy hard and you start crying and kicking and screaming okay the lord is always going to make a way out man you know and considering the times we're living into we're going to have to hold on to scriptures like these a lot more i just wanted to deliver this exhortation into the hopeful elect shalom